What is going on everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Ripple Van Winkle is back. Good morning. Happy Saturday. The weekend is here. Three days away from my vacation. First stop Phoenix. Next stop Vegas for the Super Bowl. I can't wait people. Let's just get into it. Listen, this is going to be a two-part video. I don't want to keep each video that long. I'm going to try to condense everything within to a 15-minute time frame. Before we get going, make sure you give us a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to my YouTube channel. I know you love it. I love it. Channel's growing. It is great. It feels good. I love reading your comments, and I get back to almost all of them when I can, people. Let's get going here. Coin market cap, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. XRP's pumping. Bitcoin dominance has come down just a little bit, 63.2%. The total market cap is a shy under $1 trillion. But that's not the big thing here. The big thing, Bitcoin down 9%. Ethereum down 6%. XRP is up 12%. It is about to take over the number four spot again. We are at 0.3196. This is big, 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 people. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because tomorrow is the monthly close. We need to close above 30 and a half cents. If we close close above 30 and a half cents, we are back on our bullish projections. We are back. XRP is going to stuff flying. We're going to moon. You know what's going to happen. Alt season is among us how do we know that well i covered yesterday in yesterday's video what did i say dodge coin when doge dodge however you want to call it dog coin pumps that usually is the single of all season don't believe me check back three years ago four years ago 2017 let me know what happened that signalized we are here the bitcoin dominance coming all the way down from 72 73 percent it did hit like 62 and a half that's another sign that we are here seeing coins pump other than Bitcoin is another sign and now seeing XRP run. Listen, XRP is running all by itself. It is up 19% in the last seven days. 12.21% in just the last 24 hours, people. And you know what's coming Monday? That is right, Monday, 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 February 1st. The XRP pump group is gonna look to push this coin up. How high can we go? I don't know. I really hope everyone gets on the same page. XRP is now 32 cents. Um, there's about 20,000, 30,000 members so far in this group. I mean, it was going up quick. 42,000 members have so far joined the group. You're probably thinking, well, that Reddit sub had hundreds of thousands. Hey, it's okay. You want to know why? Because this is crypto. XRP isn't listed on that many exchange, meaning there's not going to be a lot of buy and sell walls. You need to make sure you do a market order. You buy in at market price. If everyone buy, you don't have to buy a lot. I'm not saying that people who are involved in this need to buy $1,000 worth of XRP. Do what you can. Do 50, do 25, do 100, do 200. The more you do, the further this thing will pump. I believe that what is going on here, I think it's going to happen. I think we're going to pump people. I really think it's going to pump. I think we're going to get back up to those 50, 60 cent levels. I don't know. Uh, listen, I'm excited for Monday. Monday, 8.30 a.m. EST is when this all goes down. But listen, I want to get into the news. We're going to be reviewing this SEC Ripple lawsuit. Ripple yesterday came out firing. They came out swinging. For those of you who did not read it, do not understand, do not get it, do not worry. I am here. This is going to be a two-part video. First part is right now. Second part will be later. I'm going to go over everything. I am telling you, you're not gonna wanna miss it but first from a man xrp yoda check this out this is gonna put you in a good mood on this fine saturday morning he says while ripple is taking over the world vitalik buterin you know the guy who who created ethereum who slept on stefan thomas's or ripple's couch yeah him he's dancing on stage look at this come on this guy's a joke and he is the owner creator of ethereum just <laughs> you're gonna laugh here we go privacy and scaling in a snap snap come on what a song huh i'm gonna download the full version it's gonna be one of my gym songs when i'm doing my cardio i mean Ripple, Flair, they're out there taking over the world, and this dude is making up rap songs about Ethereum 2.0. Oh, 
What even happened to Ethereum 2.0? Guy's a joke. I don't know. I thought that was funny. I thought it was amusing. Hope you had a good laugh. I was bobbing my head. I know you probably are too. Anyways, up next, let's get into the news. Big True Official. Check this out. Flare and Go Galler Games and BitTrue have entered into a three-way partnership which will see Galler's NFTs minted and exchanged on the Flare blockchain. BitTrue will also be supporting Gala slash XRP pair coming very soon. This is big, people. Listen, Flare. Flare is going to be a big deal. You remember, I told you since day one there was no way I wasn't going to claim my Spark token. You had other people out there in this community that would try to tell you that this was a trap, it was a scam. The Ripples try to get your XRP to try to figure out all your holdings. Come on, be smart about who you listen to. Flare is going to be a monster. That's that. All right, we're going to jump over to the lawsuit right now, the law case. We're going to read a couple of things. We're going to go over some of the important things that I have found. First one's up, Bearable Bull. It says, Ripple continues to impress me. And all you should be too. Things are heating up. He is dead right. Now, this comes out of the Ripple Insights. Listen to this. As the lawyers note, Ripple wants a quick decision. They don't want this dragged out. They want a quick decision, which is why they did not file a motion to dismiss. This has typically been done by Ripple in other lawsuits, only as a hassle or delay tactic. In the SEC lawsuit, however, Ripple is waiving it in the order to get a ruling as quickly as possible. This wasn't from the Ripple Insights. I apologize. This is from um the from from the lawyer firm's youtube channel uh this guy goes by name hogan he actually is a lawyer i'm gonna actually show you a clip for him later all right then he goes on to say ripple has filed a motion under the federal sunshine law to obtain the sec's informal opinion regarding ethereum's classification as a non-security they also want to know why bitcoin so what does this mean this is very very important people listen up ripple wants to know how, why, who, what, when Ethereum and Bitcoin got declared not securities. Where is the filing? Where is the paperwork? How did Ethereum go from a security to a non-security? This is huge because Ripple knows none of this information was ever made public. Did Jay Clayton and crew just come out on stage and and Started picking winners and losers? That's what it sounds like to me. Did you ever see paperwork on how Ethereum was declared non security? No, we just heard it. So the SEC is picking winners. They're saying, oh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, you're cool. XRP, you're not cool. So Ripple is demanding the paperwork, the filings that have listed or that have gone over how and why Ethereum and Bitcoin have both been declared not securities. This is tremendous because we will figure out once and for all if Ethereum and Bitcoin truly are not securities. Because if the SEC does not have paperwork on this, then it's all BS. They were never declared. They were just opinions being thrown out there. To be declared not a security, like we've seen with EOS and Ken, there was lawsuits, there were final judgments, and there was paperwork. Where is it for Ethereum and Bitcoin? I cannot wait for the outcome of that. And then from Jesse Haynes, he's another lawyer. He's been very help, helpful throughout this whole thing. He put together a quick little blog up on Coil yesterday. I'm gonna just read you two main points. He says his quick response. The preliminary statement was Ripple basically giving the middle finger to the SEC and pointing out how preposterous the lawsuit is. I mean, Ripple also gave more detail than I expected in its response. So here's this coil blog. You can go look it up. It's from Jesse underscore Hines, H-Y-N-E-S. Let me read this to you. So some preliminary answers. What is an answer? An answer is a responsive pleading. It is the statement made by a defendant in a lawsuit in direct response to what plaintiff claims and alleges in his, co in his complaint. It could be a defendant's first chance to tell a story, or it could be a defendant's first chance to deny a claim without presenting anything. Why did Ripple file a motion to dismiss? Why didn't Ripple file a motion to dismiss? He says, I'm not a psychic, but I'll guess it's because this type of motion isn't easy to win. And Ripple wants to conclude this lawsuit as fast as possible. Why waste time with procedural challenges that have low chances of success? So that's exactly why Ripple didn't come out, say, let's, hey, we'll file a motion to dismiss this case. No, no. And I'm going to get to more of this later, but 
file a motion to dismiss, pretty much that's just gonna delete a case. Ripple wants an answer, they're going to court, they're gonna get an answer and they're gonna get clarity. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Then as we scroll down, paragraph 117 and others, Ripple has used XRP rather than cash to pay for things. Operational and others. I wonder how often people have used investment contracts to pay for things. This may be the first, wink, wink. What he's saying here, is that if XRP was a security, uh, that's the SEC claiming that Ripple had investment contracts. When have you ever been able to use an investment contract to pay for something? That's like me saying to you, I'm going to give you this investment contract. That's my payment to buy your car. No, it doesn't work like that. But instead, they use XRP to pay for things. Guess what? If it has utility, it's not a security. I'm going to keep on drilling that because that is the goddamn truth, people. Let's keep going. Paragraph 170 and others, Ripple sold XRP and they paid firms in XRP to help them sell. Opinion, Apple sells Apple stock, but they don't pay an Apple stock to do so because it's a security. So Ripple sold XRP and they paid firms in XRP to help them sell. Listen, the SEC has nothing to stand on here. Let's keep going to stay on this fact from Stewart. Ripple raised capital through sales of equity, of equity securities via a Series A funding round of approximately $32 million that closed in December 2015. A Series B funding of approximately $55 million that closed in August 2016. Series C funding of $200 million that closed in December of 2019. Why am I reading this to you? The SEC said that Ripple relied on sales of XRP to fund its operations, which is complete BS. As you can tell from these three Series C's fundings, where they raised almost $300 million. But yet the SEC is trying to say that they relied on sales of XRP. Complete bullcrap, people. So this is the legal briefs guy I was talking about earlier. This is Jeremy Hogan. I want you to listen to two clips here. We're going to start the two-minute mark right here. We'll go about 46 seconds. Listen to this. Jargon. So listen to this, which to me is the best part of the preliminary statement and addresses an issue that the SEC made a big deal of in the lawsuit. Paragraph 10 says, quote, Ripple holds a large percentage of XRP, but that alone does not and cannot render an investment contract. Many entities own large amount of commodities. Exxon holds large quantities of oil. De Beers owns large quantities of diamonds. Such large commodity holders inevitably have interests aligned with purchasers of the underlying assets, but that does not convert the asset into a security. The analogy is perfect. I love this. And it deals well with the allegation that's all over the SEC lawsuit that somehow Ripple holding a lot of the XRP somehow makes it a security. One point to Ripple for that. But I really... All right, you heard what he just said. The fact that Ripple is holding a lot of XRP does not make it a security as complete crap. As we have used the analogy before, Exxon holds a lot of oil that does not make oil a security, people. That is a huge, huge plus for Ripple right there, bringing that up. That analogy was on point. Then I want to go to 740. This is the most important thing out of this whole clip. Listen to this. Defense on page 90. XRP is not a security. Quote, Ripple did not violate Section 5 of the Securities Act because XRP is not a security and therefore no registration was required with the sale of XRP. So in effect, Ripple itself has requested the complete ruling that the SEC did not. Ripple is saying they want a full determination from the court that XRP is not a security. Ripple could have escaped this lawsuit with no such finding if it had wanted because the SEC didn't find it. And here it is raising the major issue itself. So this blew my mind. I mean, I had to sit down. I drank my second cup of coffee. I had to rethink my thinking about this lawsuit entirely after seeing this. You see, honestly, I thought I had assumed really that Ripple would tiptoe into defending the lawsuit looking for a quick settlement. But I apparently underestimated Ripple's belief in its position. This affirmative defense shows that Ripple truly believes it can and will win, not just on certain offerings of it. I would stop it right there. Did you hear what Ripple just came out saying? They are requesting, Ripple is requesting 
a full determination from the court that XRP is not a security. They will not leave this court case until they get a full ruling whether XRP is a security or not a security. We are finally gonna get clarity. Ripple has that in there. This is saying, hey, SEC, you will make a ruling by the time this is done or the courts are gonna make the ruling on whether XRP is a security or not. Once XRP is declared not a security, the lid is going to be blown off, people. I am telling you, you're going to see a double-digit XRP by the time this is all over. Some point this year, I'm telling you right now, remember who told you that? Ripple Van Winkle told you a two-digit XRP is coming. All those people laughed at you. XRP can never get past a dollar. They are so wrong. I mean, Ripple is requesting for the court. To, de to deem XRP a security or not a security. Why? Because they know they're gonna win this lawsuit, people. And then we jump over to Stewart. We also, this is part of the, uh, the lawsuit that Ripple went over their case. It says, we also filed a Freedom of Information Act requesting how the SEC determined Ethereum evolved from a security to not a security. No explanation or guidance was given. Why Ripple? How did Gary Gensler get info from the SEC? Why Ethereum was not a security? Why is the SEC withholding back information? This is a great question. And I went over this before. Ripple wants to know why or how Ethereum was cleared. Where is the proof? Where is the documentation? We want to see it. There was a gentleman in Florida that put up citrus groves and started to sell them. And the Supreme Court had to decide what is an investment contract because an investment contract is a security. This four part test in my mind suggests that an investment contract is a security as ripple just stated in their their answer pdf to the sec or to the courts there was no xrp contracts people do you listen most maybe not all but most initial coin offerings are securities because they're investment contracts where there's an exchange of money there's a common enterprise. You're relying on somebody else's expertise for profits. And this is why I earlier this year said, I think that most of them are. I think Ether, when it was done in 2014, would pass this test. When I say pass, it means it's a security. Now, subsequently, the SEC has said by 2018, it's decentralized enough. And they've sort of said, you know, we'll let it go the other way. But whether it's Ripple or EOS or others that have done big initial coin offerings, when you think about these four things, they're probably there. But again, it's less than a quarter of the market. So this is Gary Gensler saying that Ripple did an initial coin offering. That is one of the key points that Ripple went after when it came out swinging versus the SEC. There was never an initial coin offering. There was never XRP sold in investment contracts. This is complete bull crap. Ripple is going to prove it. We are going to get clarity. I'm going to cut it there. This video is already running a little too long, almost 20 minutes. I'm coming out with part two later. Plenty more to go over. You're not going to want to miss it. Enjoy your Saturday. Like and subscribe to the channel. Wash your damn hands. Be nice to be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.